Hey, it's your YYC Angel Intuitive Julie Robinson here with your weekly oracle card reading for the week of October the 9th through to the 16th. Yes. It's Thanksgiving weekend here in Canada. I'm so excited to have vegan healthy choices on the Monday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. And the moon is moving through the Taurus sign this weekend, which is very sensitive, rules the throat chakra, and love, right? Because Taurus is influenced from that planet Venus. So it really inspires us to speak our truth with love. Now, speaking your truth with love is an angelic vibration that corresponds with who you really are. But how many of you consciously, regularly, Speak your truth and with love. Well, on today's episode of Weekly Oracle Card Reading, I want you to know that the angels support you to speak your truth with love, which is not to be confused with to sir with love. Even the angels are going, okay, Julie, your cheesy jokes. (coughs) What? Okay, so how many of you instead sugarcoat the truth or you don't even express it? because you're afraid of conflict, okay? I want you to know the angels support you and that you are sitting on a gold mine with that truth, okay? And that um, I'm gonna give you some messages right now that are gonna hopefully inspire your authentic self. It's so important to be your authentic self, but let's see what messages the angels want to share with you today, okay? This card just flew out of the deck as you saw. Blue matches my blue shirt. Archangel Raziel. Now, Raziel is the angel like magician. And this happens to be the magician card. And it says you're ready. You have the resources that you need to manifest life. Life is magical. Now, the magician is a very positive card. It means that you're supportive. It, it you know means that the angels are working with you and it says you're ready. So if you've been feeling like, hey, like, I don't know if I could speak my truth and that um, this card is really telling you, like, you can't procrastinate anymore. Like, you kind of got to get on it and that there's magic supporting you. So at the beginning of the week, know that whatever challenges and obstacles you think you're facing, that Archangel Raziel, the magician angel, is supporting you. So I think that that's really some excellent news. Now, let's go to the middle of the week where we have two of fire. And this says that you've come into your to your own. And the other uh, possible meaning is that there's contracts happening at the beginning of next week and new partnerships and that you continue really to move forward. So whatever project you're currently working on, the angels are supporting you and there's a partnership theme to it, okay? And so those messages should also be supporting you to be yourself, knowing that you're supported by heaven and the angels. And sometimes having a friend can be very supportive of you being your true self. Seven of water, and I'm drinking water. Seven of water. is the, By the way, I'm working today with Doreen Virtue's Angel Tarot tarot cards some people pronounce them tarot but they're tarot um during virtue and radley valentine created a, a series of tarot cards and i have i think all of them no i have most of them and uh, these are really good so the seven of water means again stop procrastinating the need to do research and a complex decision so it looks to me like you've got seven things <coughs> excuse me um Seven things that you're working on, um, like in your mind and in your imagination. And I feel like the message for um, uh, that I'm hearing is that there's a lot of change that is in a potential right now. Uh, You know, like sort of like a new beginning that's coming down the pipeline for you closer to Christmas. But you kind of have to play your cards right. And you also have to take a leap of faith and make the necessary changes. Um, that you need to. It's really important that you keep a good love vibration this week, that everything you do comes from love, then you never have to second guess anything. And sometimes that might mean giving to a charity or giving uh, to people who are less 
uh, fortunate than you. So, yeah. Um, the Angel Heart Talk Show is is kind of like not really that consistent right now. I know, but it's because we have Thanksgiving on Monday, and I'm going to Thanksgiving lunch, so I'm not going to be able to be there. But um, I have to change it. Um, but right now, the blog talk radio show, the next one, is going to be on the 23rd. So right after the Body, Soul, Spirit Expo. Which, by the way, if you're in Calgary, YYC, the Body, Soul, Spirit Expo, I will be there from October 20th to 22nd with a booth. But I will also be doing angelic interventions. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know why I'm so excited. Um, I love delivering angel messages, even though a lot of the messages I deliver are to people who are in crisis, such as those who really suffer from depression. But I guess I just like helping people. I love what I do because I feel like what I'm able to do as an angel intuitive is really to validate what people need to work on and to let people know that they do have um, an angelic team and a connection and give them the messages that they need to move forward and to heal. So I'm really excited about that. I hope to see you down at the expo. And also to let you know, I have an expo sale this month for 27 days only from the 4th of October through to the 31st. I You could save 40% on angel readings and 20% on mediumship readings. So that's exciting. Check out juliespiritualhealer.com for more details. And I'll see you next week. Mwah! Happy Thanksgiving from Canada. Bye.